Men with obstructive vasospermia have normal testosterone level, normal FSH level, and normal size testes. However, one of the histologic diagnoses of non-obstructive vasospermia, specifically the maturation arrest, which also has the same presentation like men with obstructive vasospermia. They also have normal testosterone level, normal FSH level, and normal size testes. In this scenario, where an isospermic men have normal testosterone level, normal FSH level, and normal size testes, the recommendation for these isospermic men is to undergo testicular biopsy. If sperm are found, those would be cryopreserved. Once we have the biopsy result, whether they have normal spermatogenesis, these patients have obstructive asospermia. If the biopsy result shows hypospermatogenesis, maturation arrest, ulcer tolicell only, these patients have non-obstructive asospermia. Once we know definitively the biopsy result, we can now offer the treatment options accordingly. For men with obstructive asospermia, we can offer surgery to remove the obstruction, or we can do sperm retrieval, which will be followed by assisted reproduction. Men with non-obstructive asospermia, there is only one treatment option, and that is to do microdissection testicular sperm extraction followed by IVF.